what often makes things beautiful is that they're in this fragile, transient state and a lot of my work's about finding that fine line between beauty and decay. I really didn't know what to expect when I was heading up to La Salle's, like a tiny town with a population of only 48 people. When we first got here, we had a meeting with a lot of people at the pub. And one of my ideas is to try and paint a, a local couple. And there was like a significantly older couple though, like in their 70s, maybe 80s. And I asked if I could take their photo the next day. And then I was speaking to some other people and like, oh yeah, they're, they're great, really lovely couple, but they're not really local. They've only been here for 25 years. And I was like, oh, 25 years is a long time. Like, I, I was like, what do you have to do to be local here? That kind of blew my mind because that's, you know, most of my life. I didn't understand until I started talking to like There's been like a lot of the families here have been here for like three or four generations. For them, that, that was local. But there's something really beautiful about that, the quietness of these small towns. The way I paint is often kind of translucent sometimes and like feels like it can fade back into the wall or surface that it's, it's come from. And you know, just trying to keep that beautiful, subtle feel that the town already has. It's really quite cool that this silo trail has diverted a lot of people to you know, come down that part of Australia. Question. The idea of painting something that's going to get knocked down, it kind of just makes it feel just so much more important. And like, what's what's something that's local around here that you, everyone knows or everyone goes and sees? Like, is it like the the lake? Like, how often do you go see the lake? You know it's there, but you don't go see it every day. But if you know that lake was going to get filled in next week, you probably go see it. You know, it's almost like a memory. That memory might fade. It's scary to think of a memory fading, you know, something only exists in, in your mind, like everyone has that fear of losing their memory. And so, you know, no one wants to be forgotten and the more people who get to see these areas, the kind of the longer they last, even just people's memories.